Hi, I'm Rock from High Techniques and today I'm going to show you how to first of all use and read a staff and second of all, shh, second of all use the dual grade laser. We'll use it as a level playing field first of all then we'll go into the dual afterwards. So first of all I want to show you how to read a staff and if you're not in the engineering school or you don't know, you, you, you always see the black and the red and you don't know what they're for Every line represents 100 mil. So 1.6, 1.7, 1.5. Every block represents 10 mil. So the back to front E here has five blocks in it. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So halfway you have a divide. So that's 1.45, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45. You have to divide that into 10 then visually so you have to break it up into fives and mils after that so halfway between this point is 1.5 1.405 or if it's just above the line 1.401 and so on so when we're reading the staff on a laser level it's easy to see it on a dumpy level but when you're on a laser level, you, you can't see through it. You have to depend on the laser level. So at the moment, on the digital display here, I'm reading zero. I was, I've just set to zero. And this, the top of the bar, represents the middle of this. So we're 1 1.3, 1 1.25, 1.24, 1.3, 1.4. And 1.22 is behind there somewhere, but we don't know exactly. So I'm going to use the digital laser to tell us how far we're below the mark. So I'm going to go down to 1.22 and level it up. And that's telling me it's 5mm below the 1.23 mark, so it's actually 1.225. So I'm going to tighten that again. So that's how to read a staff. So at the moment, the staff there is reading 1.225. And with the camber in the road, it's shown it's, it's 40, 40 mil higher. So I know that it's 40 mil from there. There. That's how to read staff, and it'll tell you once you're within 50 mil. Now, with the dual grid laser, you'll have what's called a beam catcher on the bottom on, on the bottom corner. So we can go all the way down to the end of the road and check what 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 height the road is at falling the gradient of the road. But we can also catch the whole plane of the laser level and set this dual grid to what grid we want it down there. So we're going to go down here and show you how to do that. So we've walked about 50 meters away from the dual grid laser and the road is falling down, the gradient is, is a negative gradient so we have to find the gradient of the road. So we're talking about probably about two to three hundred mil of a fall. And at the moment I'm at 1.225 and I'm going to find out what it is falling by. So I'll just bring it up along until I get the flat line. So we're talking about 1.6 and this 1.5, so 1.590, 1.58, 1.7. And then we go down then. 5 mil. So it's 1.75 mil. That's what the difference is. So if you remember then, that's the silence button by the way. What we were down there is we were 1.25 and now we're at 1.575. So 1.225, 100, 200. 350 mil, so we're actually 350 mil lower than that there. So that's how you measure the difference between 
the two levels. But the smart part is we're going to go back down to 1.225. Which is down here, 1.21, 1.22, So you can see, difference of 350 mil will now be there. But if we want that laser to match the gradient of the road, so we have to put in, let's say, a pipe level with the road, parallel with the road gradient. What we do is we we'll press this bean catcher button down here. So that's able to talk to the dual grade laser and tell it that we want to find the, the bean and it's going to start adjusting. So I'll we'll press it for a few seconds until SMT and then XSC. So that means it's searching for the, the bean. And this, this red, Red here is the receiver, and it's after searching for top and bottom. When it searches for the top and bottom, you can see these lights working away. So it's on the red one, it's above the line now. It's on the green line, and it'll go down to the blue line. It's still searching, and then it, it, it beeps twice. And now the grade is set on the x axis, so now we're actually set at a grade. So if you, if, you, if you can see the staff, now we're going to be higher and lower than that. And you can even see it when we drop below in the gully. And we'll turn on the volume. And as we go along the road then, we'll see how good the road is. So that's it's saying seven mil. So the road is actually at a good constant gradient all the way along. That's 26 mil high, so it's slightly rising. And you can also read it from the back as well, higher or lower. So that's 18, 17 mil. So that's higher than the grade allows. So if you're looking at, at laying a pipe from A to B, you'll be able to spot the difference. So that's how you read the two here later. So just, um, just showing you how the dual grade laser is calculated. The x-axis shows 0.579% of a fall over that distance we just measured. So that's the grade it gives you. So when you're doing that you don't have to calculate it but you can always record that gradient when you're putting in your report on what was put in so that's that road is at 0.579 of a grade